please welcome to the stage Julian Lute, Senior Manager, Strategic Advisor at Great Place to Work. What's up? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? How are y'all doing? That's what I like to hear. All right, so let me officially welcome you to the 2022 Great Place to Work for All Summit in beautiful Orlando, Florida. If you're having a good time, make some noise. So as always, I want to thank you for taking the time, making that investment of your time, your energy, your passions, and being with us this week. It's going to be good. I'm really excited. You know what's funny? Standing here, I realize I haven't been in a room with this many people in like two years. Am I alone in that? No. Okay. So it's not just me. I didn't realize how much I needed to see your faces uh, and get your energy. I'm feeling it. So. We're going to get this party started. Really looking forward to all of the people who are going to be speaking to us, meeting and connecting with each and every one of you. But before we do that, I want to know who's in the house. Okay? I want to know who's in the building. If you're a first timer, this is your first great place to work for all summit, say yeah. Yeah. Ooh. All right. All right, well, if you're a vet, if you've been to at least one great place to work summit before this, let me hear you say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, okay, so look around, look around. It's okay to look around. These are your people. If you're a first timer, these are your people. This is your community. This is our community, all right? These are very, very, very special people, and you're in a special place, all right? I think I'd be remiss if I didn't say this. Things are different. A lot's changed since the last time we came together. I don't think anybody would have predicted that it would have been two years before we could be back in person. It's a different world. We know things like inflation. Now we're dealing with things like energy costs rising. We're dealing with things, real, real things like war, right? These are all the things that are, that are happening for each and every one of us. And a lot of things have changed for us personally. A lot of things have changed for us in the business landscape. But in an environment like this, what we've noticed from some companies, not the great ones, but for some companies, it's easy to put the people issues on the back burner. It's easy to say, we'll deal with this when things get better. But not these folks. We know that things don't get better until people get better. Am I right? Okay. We've learned a lot over the last couple of years. One of the things I think that really stood out is that many of us work for incredible organizations. If you work for an incredible organization, clap your hands. I think we've also learned that many of us work for committed, capable, courageous, bold leaders. If you have a committed, capable, bold leader, make some noise. Not only have they found a way to deal with this new reality, but they found a way to care for us and bring us along with them. They're still caring for us. They're still bringing, them along, bringing us along with them. With them and I know that you're doing the same thing for your people. And I think you all can say with confidence that for all matters now more than it's ever mattered before. So over the next two days from this main stage, this big main stage, and the focus sessions, you're gonna hear from leaders. They're gonna tell you their personal stories of transformation. They're gonna tell you the stories of transformation within their own organization. These are not just great places to work, but these are great places to do business with. These are the people, well, let me say this, if I'm honest, I'm going back to fall of 2020. The look of fear in many CEOs' eyes when they realized we were not gonna be back in the office in 60 days. You remember those days? People thought we were gonna be back in the office in April. People thought we were gonna be back in the office in May. And then probably around fall of 2020, 
they started talking about what's the future of work? Oh, the future of work is remote. Remember that? Then they realized some people, you know, depending on where you work, they started to try to bring you back. Then they said, well, the future of work is hybrid. And then it turned into the future of work is, you could just insert your own adjective, your own noun, whatever. They've, the future of work is all over. But we know one thing. The future of work is for all. You can't take that. You can't snapshot that. You can't forget that. The future of work is for all. So I'm going to ask you to do one thing while you're here. One thing. I think in years past, I may have asked you to do five things. One year, I think I asked you to do seven things, and I put them up on the board. This year, I'm just asking you to do one thing. Be all in. Over the next two days, I'm asking personally, be all in. What does that mean? That means if you have an idea, share it. That idea can be the thing that unlocks a challenge that one of our community members is dealing with right now. The other thing I'm asking you to do, share your personal story of transformation. Your personal story of transformation might unlock the courage in someone else to share their story of transformation. And share your challenges. When you share your challenges, it helps others understand that they're not alone. You're not by yourself. These people that you're with right now, myself and you, we're change agents. That's our job. We wouldn't be here if we weren't change agents. All right? So are you with me? Can we do that one thing? Be all in? You know, I've heard it said before that this is the event that many folks come to every year to get recharged. A good friend of ours said, this is worthy work, but this is weary work at times. You don't know sometimes what the person next to you is dealing with and how much they need us to be there for them. So over these next two days, take care of each other. Look each other in the eye. If you feel like hugging, do that. If you're still giving pounds, do that. If you're doing the kid and play dance like we did in March of 2020, do that. Uh, but we're going to do this together over the next few days. All right? You with me? All right. So we're, incredible, we're incredibly grateful to have you here today. We want to get centered. We want to make sure that we're intentional as we move into this next space. And so let's get present with the meditation moment by Thrive Global. Breathe in. And breathe out. We all have interactions throughout the day that don't feel great. So right now, let's take a moment to reflect on the good ones. Think about a time when you helped someone out in a meaningful way. You pointed them in the right direction, gave them advice, or just listened. Allow yourself to sink into that memory. Take a slow breath in as that moment of connection and gratitude fills you. And as you breathe out, let the warmth of that memory flood through you. It feels great to help others. In fact, giving transforms the giver as much as the recipient. When we embrace our capacity for kindness and giving, we replenish our stores of resilience that strengthen us in challenging times. Breathe in and breathe out. Allow yourself to be inspired and uplifted by those positive interactions as you continue throughout your day. All right, you ready? All right, they don't call us great place to work for nothing. We say great a lot but it's all about the work. So let's get to work. I'll see you in a moment.